Welcome to Our Crazy Life. We're a family of seven traveling the world full time. Chris, Leslie, Lucy, Grant, Lincoln, Harrison, and Grace. We are the Seven Wayfinders. Girly girl? Hey. What are we doing? Going on a date for Mexico. That's right, we're having some Mexican food. Can I think I'm going to get ourselves some nachos. And some tacos. You want, you want to see tacos? Steak. Better find, well, we'll have to see. Check that out, peeps. Yum, yum, yummy. Yum, yum, yummy. Just a fudge and a banana milkshake, and that's what makes it delicious. Yeah, that's true, but there's so much good food here. I love you. Uh, Not true. Totally true. Not possible. Hey guys, this is Grace. Ooh, that's a new way to say his name. Maybe every time I call him Grace, <laughs> come do the dishes. Grace. <laughs> Have you picked up your room? And I got to go on a date with him in Tokyo. I'm out on a hot date We're with this man. Huh. Where are we, Grant? Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan. And we just came to Akihabara, which is like the video game, VR, right. anime center of Tokyo. So we have a policy that we try and take our older kids on a date once a month. You have to be at least four years old. So Grace is not qualified yet. We don't make it every month because some places, frankly, there's nothing to Mom do. Mom owes me three. <laughs> I do not. I do not owe you three. I just owe you for Paris because we were really busy in Paris. Check out our Paris videos to see why. But we had a lot of fun in Tokyo. We went down to the Sega building. Chris and I were going on our dates with our kids at the same night, and we literally, without any talking before, planned the exact same date for them. I was like, okay, well, we're leaving at like six, and we're gonna go to the Sega building. And he was like, what? So am I. And I was like, and we're going to the Gundam statue, or the Gundam restaurant for dinner. Do you remember that? He was like, so am I. <laughs> so we shared a taxi. And what happened when we went to the Gundam restaurant? It was outnumbered by people. It was basically closed. They had a private event. Can we find it, Grant? Here we are. Who wants that one? It's bad we can't get any of those. Stuffed nachos like Grant. Well, we tried to do the Gundam Cafe only to find out that they're having a special movie event and can't seat anyone. What'd you get, Grant? Both we have wet. soda and this is the best, one of the best sodas in the world. Now we're going to look for somewhere else to eat. We tried to go to this restaurant that was like a maid-themed restaurant. Yeah, but it had too much of a line. <laughs> not only that, but the maids were not child appropriate. That was not the kid friendly restaurant. And as I'm walking up, I'm like, ooh, we need to go. <laughs> we need to turn around. Okay, then where did we go? Do you remember the dinner we did eat? Yeah. You like get raw meat, and then there's a stove right in front of you. You turn the stove up and put the raw meat on, and you cook it yourself. So Grant had his own personal stove uh, with fire and everything. <laughs> What'd you get, Grant? And I can sniff you. Oh, we can use chopsticks. 
Tip of stick? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, hurry fast. He got to grill his own meat. He was the grill master. And then we went to the arcade, and how was that? Good. It was a mixed experience. It was mostly adult businessmen, which really threw me off. Not all of the games were totally appropriate for Grant. Some the only ones that were really would work are racing games and the claw machine. We tried to. And then that like kung fu one. Remember we did for like ten minutes. Oh yeah, kung fu power. <laughs> it just kept going and going and going. So something to know about the arcades in Japan is they're kind of expensive. They can be like two to five dollars, but they can last like fifteen minutes. Okay. the characters. It's a little hard to understand, honestly, in Japanese. What were you looking for that we were never able to get to? Virtual reality. Oh, uh, we found one, but it was closed. This is the virtual reality floor. Oh no, it says there's an event. I don't have a very good luck tonight. Well, would you tell other people to go to the Sega building in Tokyo? Go check it out? It's their businessman. <laughs> That's kind of true. Yeah. I had a good time with Grant. I always have a good time with my Granter. What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right, so Lincoln, <laughs> my main man, number three, pa-ching, went on a date in Tokyo. And we're out, Lincoln and I on our ah! date. And we decided to hit some arcades and we were gonna specifically try to try out some of those Japanese arcades where they involve cards and coins to play. So we got up there and I thought oh there's gonna be a bunch of like teenagers and some kids and we were totally surprised because there wasn't a lot of kids or teenagers was there? Yeah. No. There was a bunch of adults. Now we did find a kid section which was awesome and the favorite game you played, the one that you said was a little scary, was Mario Brothers Halloween, right? Yeah, it was where you would check up ghosts and you were Ouija. Yeah, that's right. You had a little gun and it no, would suck. No, a vacuum. Yeah, Not I know, but it look, you, you hold it like a gun yeah. and it would vacuum up the ghosts, right? Yeah. I seriously don't know what this is, but we're going in. It's Luigi's Mansion, I guess. Look check that it. out, man. <laughs> You gotta suck the ghost down. Oh no, super scary. Megan, do you wanna play that again? There was another one where we were trying to win some prizes by playing this claw game. I think we dropped like 20 bucks in that. Even the guy was seeing how much we were spending and he was like trying to push it off the edge practically. Dad's been sucked into the eternal disappointment loop. Hi, Dad. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> We also did a race in Mario Kart and they took Lincoln's picture, but then when he was picking, he accidentally picked Princess Peach. So they stuck his face on Princess Peach. Check that out. We went out to eat. What was the awesome dessert? Do you remember? It was a massive piece of honey toast. And if you haven't seen honey toast, you gotta look it up. It's like half a loaf of bread that's really squishy, sweet bread. Three, two, one, fire! And with ice cream and bananas and chocolate syrup and caramel on top. And whipped cream. And tons of whipped cream and it was yummy. And candles they set it on fire. That's right, they do, they do. And only I ate it because Lincoln doesn't like ice cream. No, I like it. What do you think, Lincoln? Awesome. Hey, Lincoln. What? I love you, buddy. I love you. All right. Our date nights are over. Chris and Lincoln seem to end up in the more kid-friendly Sega building. And Grant and I were in the more businessman building. Full and full and full of adult men. We both found very different restaurants, but both pretty cool. What'd you think, baby doll? It was awesome. Mm -hmm. 